each other a lot of times. Narayan produces that magic delivery. Times to the right hand of the one. It tends to go the other way. And he's got behind that one. Not quite getting hold of it, but with the bar, he packs and he shots. That gunner rides away to the boundary for the first bound. That was a good delivery again from Narayan. He was unfortunate. Could have gone anywhere. I had enough things on that to sail over that back foot point fieldsman for four runs. First boundary for Chris Gale. And it's, it's up in there. There's a chance of a catch here. Field is coming on. And he's done it. He's dropped it. Goodness gracious. How could you have done that? Seemed to be an easy take, but I think it will make a breakthrough very early. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be very tough for them to come back. And there we go. That was any shot you'll ever see. A very effortless shot of extra cover for six. Oh, there is no margin of error for bowler. Once you're bowling against this man, Chris Gale. No feet movement at all. Just, just bending a little bit to get that elevation. And off she went. 78 meters long that hit. So easy, so effortless. That's the last over. 16 runs in that over from Sunil Narayan. He was the bowler who had him nearly caught. And that was a big one, really big shot. He's gone into these stands. What a shot that is from Prisley. That's why he's such a dangerous batsman. You give him a, an inch, he'll take it. Hold him straight away. That's Shahid Afridi for you. Ten wickets for him. Brendan McCallum gone. For Rangpur, for Dhaka, I take a part. Rangpur losing their first wicket. Afridi, the attempted leg break. Just going straight through, skidding on, just kissing the off stump. He's the showman, isn't he? Quick. That was pushed through quicker, not the leg break. It's the attempted off break. Beautifully hit. Just a push. No real swing of the bat. That's an edge. Another boundary. It looks like that anything which is pitched up to uh, Chris Gale, he will go for it. He wanted to leave it, but in the end, he's uh, got some part of the bat, and would you believe it, it's gone to the boundary. Yes, he wanted to leave it. Well, luck running Chris Gale's way. Even uh, deliveries that he wants to leave, he seems to be connecting. Just like that. Yes, he definitely wanted to leave it. And he doesn't believe it. <laughs> and you can't you can't blame him. You really can't blame him. It's been that kind of a day because he's been dropped already and he's also easily getting runs to wherever he wants. This time off the backboard, don't bother running. That's gone for the boundary. What a lovely touch. Uh, this is from uh, Chris Gale. He's just going with Mohammed Amir. On the back foot. Didn't hit it hard. It's all about timing and all about placement. Just look at that. Just a little push. But it's the timing. It's the timing. And of course the beat as well. Gale goes high. And it's still going. In fact, now goes into the crowd and that's his 50. That's a smashing shot uh, from Chris Gale. He picked the leg spinner uh, quite uh, easily and hit it over long on for another six. His fourth six already. 28 deliver 26 deliveries, beg your pardon, to pick up his uh, 50. 67.54.